Tell me a time when you failed. It is a very hard interview question. And lots of people actually fail the interview because they don't know how to answer the question, tell me a time you failed, and what's your biggest failure. In my last video, I show you the grail framework and sample answers, how you're able to answer the question perfectly. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the mock interview I have conducted on our YouTube live, where I help someone to turn the bad answer into an amazing, outstanding answer of tell me a time when you failed. So make sure to stay until the end of the video where I share you additional tips how you can use the same strategies to improve your answer as well. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and feature in Forbes. I've helped 100 people to land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and product management. Like and subscribe to get more free training in product management today. Here's a clip from my YouTube live. Makita, how are you? Hi Nancy, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very well. Can you quickly introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm uh, Malika. I recently graduated from this School of Business. Uh, previously, I worked for four years uh, at Bank of America as an analyst, and uh, I am currently trying to pivot into uh, product manager roles. Awesome. By the way, business analyst, 100% you can become PM. You have done something extremely similar to PM, you just don't know how to package yourself, okay? What's your biggest failure? Tell sure. me a time when you failed. Sure. Uh, okay, so this was the time when I was working uh, with one of the clients uh, uh, based out of Chicago uh, in the food industry. And uh, he had an issue after COVID when things uh, turned his business down and he was not able to compete in the competitive landscape. And I was responsible to give him strategies to implement in his product so that he can uh, acquire more customers and cl uh, clients. I decided to uh, do some research, primary and secondary research, to find what are the uh, different verticals that he can integrate in his business. And I started off uh, doing one of the research that he can uh, go for one of the solution as being a collaborator with his competitors and I started forming up the entire case how he can reach out because one of his competitor did, did a merger so I recommended him because the other competitor was actually a uh, very good in the market and he was kind of uh, coming as a, a new with a new uh, different opportunities so i did all, uh, the entire research and recommended him to do, uh, approach him directly uh, and it kind of failed because they were not uh, ready to go for it uh, they wanted their own company not to a merger kind of thing or even uh, because of the labor shortage in his business he was not able to do different uh, events and uh, different things that he really wanted to do so this was one of the failure that I uh, kind of uh, had while implementing that strategy. But to overcome th uh, that failure, I added one more as a backup uh, so that he can uh, ask in the universities as one, one of the strategy and add it as a, another event. And uh, eventually that worked out and he collaborated with my, with few schools at my university itself to do uh, business in long term, as a long term plan. To Frank, it's very confusing. Um, okay. The reason is confusing was because um, your answer wasn't structured and you spent okay. lots of time talking about why you failed and you spent very little time talking about how you recover from the failure. Um, there's too much details goes into stuff um, that you didn't bring the audience with you to understand exactly what went wrong. For example, can you summarize in one sentence what did you fail? I think uh, just coming up with the idea um, I, I believe that it was a good one, but uh, it didn't turn out to be the best. Um, I could have uh, done uh, done more uh, research on other things rather than just sticking with one idea. That was one thing. Okay, yeah. so basically your, ideal, uh, your ideas failed to do what? To add more business to, uh, to the company. 
define what type of, what kind of what does business do what what kind of business in terms of revenue do you mean revenue yeah i meant uh, more number of customers i would say what kind of business they are in uh so they are basically serving in the frat and sorority houses frat and sorority houses you want to get more clients a uh, more user to do what to join them to join the membership yeah. Yeah, to join their membership, correct. Okay, so now you need to summarize in one sentence regarding what your what's the title of your role at the time. I was、uh, a project lead.、Uh, it was more of a consulting、uh, client that came in the college, and we were a part of uh, uh, their uh, company for six months. Okay, so most people who into you, you are much older than you. They are far, far, far out of frat houses. They don't even know what the latest things. For example, we didn't even know they have like the people cater food inside frat houses. Yeah, I didn't know either because when、right? I started working in, I didn't know either. When I、uh, did some interviews with the stakeholders, I came to know how the even the business works and said there are so many competitors in the exactly. landscape. Exactly. You need、yeah. to add. You need to use one sentence to educate your audience、okay. ahead of time. Especially、mm-hmm. people have been far away from colleges, and nobody even understand. We do not have pre-existing. We have old knowledges of what is a private house is. We don't have pre-existing knowledges regarding what exactly is the new thing. So by default, you eat inside the private houses, but we never, we never do that in the past. Even if you're, you know, you're in,、uh, you're educated in the U.S. So therefore, from、okay. the top, you can say, when I was a consultant to a food catering companies at the private house. I fail to provide them the right strategy to increase the food sales to the frat house. One sentence, and then your R part of framework should describe what exactly happened, which is R part from tell them how bad it is. You can now you, here here comes here is a new new things going on in the frat house.、Uh, nowadays, lots of catering company、um, they bring food to the frat house directly. Instead of like、uh, students eat out, and、um, but our client have been、uh, they have seen declining of food orders in the frat house, from the frat house, and in contrast,、um, other food catering companies is doing on campus event different kind of event and make it very fancy, and student inside the frat house decide not to eat inside the frat house and decide to go out for event that leading to the drop of the revenue. So now. This drop of revenue is extremely bad, and this is leading to whatever thirty percent decline of sales and revenue for this food catering company. They're going to lay off lots of employees、uh, if the businesses cannot、uh, recover quickly. So therefore, I step in try to solve the problem. However, my original solution didn't work out. Here is the three things I did to recover it. Number one. I look into my original solutions and understand why they don't work out. And then you only only use one sentence to describe what's going on. You say,、uh, "My original solution is to like integrate something to in- do a merge acquisition with another competitor who can run on campus event." Am I right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And and so that we can copy what our competitor is doing. Hopefully, student is going to do event and eat more food at those event. Yeah. However, after we implemented, the sales didn't go up at all. Student does not go to the event. And then I did investigation, discovered that why they didn't go to event. Tell me one sentence. Okay. Uh. So uh, I'll just say that the merger with uh with with the company that we were trying to do, they didn't agree to our、uh, merger. They didn't want to do a partnership. Oh, they refuse. So I discovered that the the event organizer company, organizing company, refused to collaborate with us hmm. Hmm.、Uh, because the the margins and revenue share、uh, wasn't aligned. Okay. Okay. Step number two. What did you do to fix this problem? So、uh, to fix this problem, I went with a backup uh, uh, strategy. It was basically. Adding them as one of the vendors at、uh, UIUC to w- whichever、uh, events like、uh, 
our grad work or any uh, event that happens at U of I, they can be the first primary vendor to serve at any of the events. So we registered them uh, over here. Very good. I think it's a very, very good solution and say what you said. I think it's very straightforward. So this is clean. This is easy to understand. Okay, third step mm -hmm. you did. So uh, when we fixed it, uh, they had more uh, number of clients to work with and they implemented the same strategy in different states as well. It was just UFI in Illinois. Uh, they implemented the strategy in different because they were serving all over the US. Okay, great. So the third step, uh, we made, given how successful the step two works was in our school, uh, we gave them recommendation to grow nationally because this catering company also have national locations. So they, yeah. they did the same strategy to become the restaurant vendor for all uh, big schools um, out there. So what's yeah. what the, yeah, so what the impact towards the end? Uh, eventually, uh, the, the predicted growth, uh, the revenue growth would be around a million dollars uh, this year the projected growth was in one school or all schools all school all schools okay awesome so the impact is also very good towards the end we are able we were able to grow the the revenue by one million dollars within a year by learning from this failure and implementing this new strategy so okay. what did you learn from this mistake the failure you had earlier oh uh, that um just don't think whichever idea is good in your head is good for the company. I learned that and uh, I believe doing more research and uh, doing m more of brainstorming uh, with my team members and understand uh, their point of view as well. Uh, this is what I learned. In future, I might be more uh, proactive in research instead of just going with what I thought was correct. Okay, very good, but it's too long. Let me rewrite the, the learning for you. Only have one sentence to talk about learning, okay? So, okay. how we talk about learning is the following, you can say, whenever we create innovative ideas, it's mm -hmm. very important to do very comprehensive market research before we truly execute it, because uh, best ideas usually come from MVP and test out instead of just based on one brilliant ideas. So it's very important um, uh, to follow this agile methodology when implementing any new ideas, that's it. Okay. Okay, so cool. now this will make your story much more clean, mm -hmm. great impact, and very important learning that's related to product management, which is MVP, like you have a few from trials, instead of just say, have a great idea, just go execute, this is waterfall methodology. So you're, you're more suggesting what you learn is agile methodology, basically. Sure, sure, got it. Okay, so that's a much better answer. Much better. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Cool. Okay. So if you want to achieve the same kind of result, there's three things you must do. Number one, force yourself to answer the question in one sentence. What is your failure? What did you do that actually lead into failure in one sentence? And second tip, you must create unique, impressive hook at the very beginning as our part of framework in the Grail framework. So people really love listening to it. And if possible, show some numbers to show how dramatic the failure is. Number three, come to my YouTube live to get free mock interviews. I'm happy to help all of you guys. And oh, to Edward, uh, make sure to go to this link to download all the product manager interview questions database. So get ready for your latest product management interview. Number four, watch this free training regarding how you turn product from concept to execution. This is most asked interview questions in product management interview and everybody's answer is usually very long, very bad. Make sure to uh, spend lots of time studying this video as well. Like and subscribe, gonna see you in my next video right here.